Hey everyone, so if you're a teacher like me, you're planning on making virtual video lessons for this coming fall and you want to learn how to make a video on your cell phone so that you can upload it to YouTube and share with your students. So I'm going to show you how to do some of those things and some tips and tricks to get you started with making video lessons and recording them and uploading them to YouTube. Now, if you're like me, you might invest in some fancy camera equipment you don't need anything other than your phone and some way or somehow to have the phone sitting in front of you with you framed in the shot like you see here. You can go ahead and go online and find something fancy that can hold your phone that has a tripod mount but these things can be kind of pricey between 10 to 50, 60 bucks. If you don't want to do that, all you need is a cereal box. Cut some slots on the cereal box make sure your phone fits the slots and then set it up in front of you. Any cereal box will work and you, all you need is a pair of scissors and an empty cereal box. Cut slits at the top of the cereal box like you see here and then put the cell phone in and make sure it fits snug so it's not rocking around or moving around. And you can see here the phone is nice and snug and it fits. I can carry the box without it falling out and it'll sit upright in front of me to record a lesson. So here I am. This is the phone footage from the cereal box uh, perspective and it's working great. It's not moving. It's holding my phone in place. I'm recording a video and that video can then be uploaded to either some editing software or directly to YouTube through the YouTube app. And a note about lighting. Make sure you're well lit. You want to be able to see yourself clearly in the shot and that'll make your video a lot better. Here's some bad examples. This is terrible lighting. The lighting here is great, but I got a lot of stuff going on in the background. Set up a nice background. This is much worse. It's not a bad idea to show off your book collection either. It's also really okay to be yourself and show off your geeky side. There's also absolutely nothing wrong with being silly. What if you don't want to deliver a lesson with you in frame, but rather like a document camera style where you have to teach a certain concept or a drawing skill and you uh, want to show students that from an overhead perspective. Most teachers would ideally want a hover cam or some kind of document camera um, that is made specific for this purpose. So you can see on screen uh, the document camera is pointing down at whatever it is I might be demonstrating or teaching. If you don't have a document camera like this, I have a cheap and affordable solution using your cell phone. Here's one solution using two binders and a long ruler. This could be a yardstick or something else like cereal boxes or shoe boxes holding up the yardstick. And here you see the video from the cell phone pointing in the downward direction. It works really nicely. I re can record an overhead lesson and then upload that to YouTube. Here's an example with two cereal boxes and two rulers. Um, you do see the cereal boxes in the video a little bit, but uh, you can adjust the zoom setting on your phone to zoom in or zoom out. Um, there's no obstruction of the camera as you can see here. And it's a really cheap solution to creating and using your own cell phone as a document camera. Here I have my device and I have the YouTube app um, so that you can see how to upload your videos directly to YouTube. So go ahead and open your YouTube app and I'm using an Android phone uh, so it might look different on yours if you're using an iPad or a um, iPhone but it should still be the same at the top. You should still find a little camera icon so if you press that camera icon it's going to open up your files and the most recent things that you have recorded <laughs> and you can see that I've recorded things for this lesson here on this device. So select the video that you want to upload and it's gonna you know you can preview the video pause that scroll down you can add a title you can add a description
Um, you can make it public and you can even add a location. And then you click the send or upload button. It might say upload or next um, on an iPad or an iPhone. Click on send or upload and it'll say that it is uploading, preparing, and it should, um, it, it'll take a little bit of time depending on how long the video is. So it says processing video, 95% process, and it'll then upload it to be uh, viewable on YouTube once it's pro processed. Uh, so let's give that a second so you can see. So it says the video is ready to be watched. If I click on that video, it shows up. Okay, and then I can either go on my computer and find this video in my YouTube account or I can click that share button and copy the uh, share link. So if this was on an iPad or an iPhone you would open up the YouTube app and again at the top you're gonna find that little camera icon and you'll select the video that you want to upload and you have some different options here than the Android. Um, you'll see the video preview. You'll have to click next. And then it's not really showing up here. Let me see if I can autofocus a little bit. Okay. Um, you still have to add a title, a description. Uh, so then once you're done filling out the information, you'll tap the upload button in the top right, let it process, and then your YouTube video will be shareable. If you have a Mac computer, you can easily record a lesson right off of your webcam uh, using the QuickTime software. So let's search for QuickTime on our computers, and it's called QuickTime Player. And you open that up, and in the top left, you'll have the QuickTime menu. Oops, that went away. So QuickTime Player. Let me make this a little larger. So it looks like a little um, queue. So QuickTime Player. Go to the menu. The file menu contains three ways to uh, make recordings. One is a new move, movie recording. You can also record audio or you can record your screen if you plan on recording like a PowerPoint presentation or a Google Slides presentation. But if you click on new movie recording, it's going to launch your webcam and there I am. Okay, so what I'll do is take a really quick um, video. So. Now I'm recording, it's recording, blah, 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 press stop. And now I can take that recording and uh, save it. So I'll go to file and export and I'll export as 720p in my movie folder or my document folder. I have a movies folder. Give it a title, title and save it. And let me close that. I already exported it, so I don't need to resave it again. And then what I can do is, on YouTube is click on that little create a video or post button. So I click on that, upload video. I can drag the files into here, or I can select the files. So I'll go to my movies, and that was that quick video right there. It'll start uploading it. And again, add a title, a description. Um, you can get creative by making your own thumbnails. And you have to select if it's made for kids or if it's not. And then click next and it will upload the video to your YouTube channel. So there you have it. Some quick and affordable ways to start recording video lessons and uploading them to YouTube. Now you can get way more creative than that. You can have a whiteboard in the background or some other teaching tool that you use. To deliver your lessons there's other ways that you can edit the footage there's many apps available in the play store and the app store and i also recommend checking out videos on screen recording uh, a great tool is screencastify it's free you can record up to five minutes per video and there is a paid version of that there's also screencast-o-matic which i use for this video um, that's how you saw the zooming in and zooming out and the little arrows and, and things pointing at uh, specific parts in the software. Video lessons, they're, they can be engaging and they can be very beneficial for your students. I know it helps my students out a lot. The way I use video lessons is primarily with overhead since I do teach a lot of technical drawing. 
but I teach a lot of software as well so it's important to have both skills of overhead recording and also recording your screen and the software that you're teaching so keep in mind you can also record PowerPoint presentations or Google slide presentations using the QuickTime screen recording software but you can also use Screencastify to record those lessons um, using your voice and any other uh, graphics that you might come up with in your lessons don't hesitate to reach out if you need some help or need some more tips and good luck making your videos